Okay, so today I have a three phase disconnect 277 480 controls for lighting, and we have a step down transformer 480 to 120 for an irrigation clock. And I'm going to put in a 277 to 120 time uh, transformer separate from this one because right now I have two circuits hooked up to this one. I got one for irrigation and the other one's going to a camera down the road and for whatever reason the battery charger uh, doesn't like the voltage here that it's stepping down. Um, when I measure across I get 60 volts 60 volts which is 120 but I think the problem is there's I guess not a real neutral it's just phase to phase step down to 60 volts each I don't know for sure I'll measure it I'll show you what I'm talking about um, so my theory is that if I replace this with this which is 277 to 480 or 120 uh, maybe because there's a real neutral involved in this transformer here maybe we'll see 120 volts on one phase instead of 60 volts on two phase like this one so I don't know let's find out hey you can't blow it up fuck it and uh some 1032 half inch screws um sorry I didn't show you because I can't do two things at once and hold a phone but here's the 277 120 transformer here's the 480 120 uh, and now I just gotta it didn't come with a fuse block so I'm just gonna mount a fuse here I only need one because I'm only using one phase so uh, give me a new York one for a minute okay so I'm only going to be using a, a 15 amp fuse for this 277 120 transformer because it's only running a camera with one outlet and the load is next to nothing um, 15 is plenty I could probably even do like a 5 but sometimes you get like nuisance spikes and it blows a stupid ass fuse but so that's for my primary side and then I'll put one here too just for just for kicks on the secondary <coughs> you don't have to but it's there so I'll use it um, I mounted a fuse holder a transformer this steel is really thick um, you're gonna have to use wider drill bits before you tap than you think you will or else you'll snap your tapper. Um, our neutral's up there. I got a pretty big lug for a number 12, but I don't know, whatever. I guess that's what we're gonna do. I'm out of my fuse. The primary side, I got a neutral going up to the neutral bar. I got my secondary here, I fused it. Did the same thing with this one, but this is the old 480-120. This is the new 277-120. And I want to see if I can get all the voltage on one leg. So, this may be a bitch to try to test with one hand. But, I think I can do it. Okay. So, I get 137, which is pretty good. It's a little high, but hey, the fuck you expect? All right, so let's see what's on the primary. 277, see it's a little high here. And that's why. I mean, you subtract 10 volts, you know. Here to here, you got 127. So, I mean, it's yeah, I mean, so you can see whatever. So, 
then we have this is the older one and so on the secondary as you can see you get 120 okay but here's the problem when you go phase the ground okay Phase the ground, see you get 60 on both sides. Which is like, okay, that's fine. You put them together, you get 120. But for whatever reason, this electronics uh, that I got on this circuit here, the the camera, it just doesn't like it. So this one's giving me closer 120. There's at least a neutral and a hot. So let me go down to the camera and see what is going on there the box uh, everything's underground I had to pull for the street light circuit that's maybe a quarter mile half a mile away so I don't know maybe the voltage being a little higher is okay for voltage drop but voltage drop is usually not an issue unless you have a high load you got a small load like this it's not gonna make a difference so Hoping it's not too high. This shit ain't blowed up. Um, so let me see what the voltage here is. Okay, so there's our voltage. It's pretty much the same which it is at the source. And uh, so if there's an open ground, how the fuck do I measure the ground? There ain't an open ground, that's why. But look, it does seem like. No, there you go. There's our neutral, I guess. 67 to ground. Uh, 70, yeah, see, it's doing the same shit. You get voltage across, but when you. That's fucking annoying. Um. Okay, I guess I didn't fix the problem. Uh, I gotta figure out why it says 60 volts to ground. That doesn't make sense. Um, it does that on both phases of the neutral. I thought if I used the neutral on the primary, that would go away. But as you can see, it didn't. So uh, I gotta figure out why there's 60 volts each each leg each conductor to ground it's uh, kind of annoying there is on the other so there's your hot and then the neutral is also the same thing 69 ground which is annoying you go across the two you get your 120 but or 138 whatever but that was the same thing the last one was doing and when you plug in your tester it shows that there's an open ground but that's not the case so I gotta figure out what the fuck's going on um, but I don't know that's how it works I mean the shit works but uh, the guy said his stuff was acting weird I'm not an IT guy, so I don't really know what was going on, but uh, I, th I guess the cameras work. I gotta talk to the guy, but <clears throat> camera static IP, reset when connect. I don't know, I gotta talk to him. I don't know what's going on with this equipment. So, all right. Okay, I figured it out. Check this out. So, Here's the transformer for the camera, okay? The secondary side has to have uh, one of the legs bonded to neutral or ground. So I bonded it to ground and now, you know, I still get uh, my step to down voltage, which is 134 
close enough to 120, right? But now, when I go <laughs> phase to ground, instead of getting 60, I now get, uh, oh dude, it's all on one leg, hold on a second, I gotta try to hold this and do stuff, okay, so I'll ground the one, alright, so when I go on the neutral, I get nothing, just like you're supposed to, okay, see? I'm on the neutral. I get nothing. So if I go to the hot, right, there's all my voltage. Now remember before, here's the one that I didn't do this to. Step down 48120. What happens now, you have the hot, you get 60. Okay, well. Let me go to the neutral and see what I get. Sixty. You see what I'm saying? You measure across, you get 120. But when you measure the ground, you get 60 on each phase. Try not to get shocked here. Okay, so across them. Oops, wait. Excuse me. Uh, cross them. You get the correct voltage. Right? But when you go each one to ground, you get 60 volts. That ain't right. Okay. So there's that. I come over here. Measure one. 61. Okay. Measure neutral. Sixty. But bonding that neutral right there to ground, it fixed the problem. There you go. Little baby step down transformers. <laughs> These are hundred VA. But apparently, this applies to any size. This doesn't matter what size. I, I thought, okay, well, these are small little piece of shit transformers. That's why it's, it's producing uh, half voltage on hot and neutral. No, you have to have the secondary side bonded to ground or you get weird voltages. And it'll work, like the time clock, it works over there for irrigation, it works fine having 60 volts neutral, 60 volts hot, but the camera equipment down the road, it don't like it. So let me go try it and see what it does now. Okay, so here, check me out. I did the same thing to the 480-120 transformer, and I get a real neutral and 120 on the, on the hot leg, so, I guess that's the secret. If you don't want dual voltage on a hot neutral coming off of a step down transformer.